Now, can you just talk us through this decision today? Well, as you said, the U.S. Uh, deciding to impose tariffs of 25 percent on steel imports and 10 percent on aluminium imports. Now, the countries affected include Canada, Mexico and the entire EU bloc. All of these uh, countries, the EU as a whole and uh, the U.S. and, and Mexico, uh, Canada and Mexico, rather, are currently involved in trade negotiations with the United States. Now, if you remember, while on the campaign trail, Donald Trump frequently said the NAFTA free trade agreement, North, the North American free trade agreement, was a disastrous agreement, one that was negotiated by Bill Clinton, and he promised to rip it up. Now, for over the past few months, since he's become U.S. president, uh, this renegotiation process has been taking place. So all sides are invol currently involved in renegotiating the trade policy policies, but simply uh, that w that process was taking too long, this uh, according to the Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, so which is why Canada and Mexico will also be uh, affected with these trade tariffs. Now, uh, Wilbur Ross seems to think, think that uh, uh, countries even have the right to uh, retaliate, but uh, negotiations can still uh, take place. He met uh, the French finance minister earlier today at the French finance ministry, and the French finance minister, well, he said any increase in tariff would be unjustifiable and dangerous to growth. Well, indeed, looking ahead, uh, people aren't going to be too happy, I think. What do you think the major consequences will be? Well, um, when these, when Donald Trump first uh, threatened to impose tariffs on uh, steel and aluminium imports from Europe, the French President Emmanuel Macron said Europe would not be negotiating with a gun to its head. Well, the gun is uh, at Europe's head right now, and it seems like it has no choice but to negotiate. But having said that, um, we, we do have a swift response coming from uh, the Europeans. Uh, Jean-Claude Juncker has taken to Twitter, putting out a tweet saying, it's a bad day for world trade. Now, in a couple of hours, we are expected to get uh, a full list of the European uh, tit-for-tat measures, uh, we can say. Uh, we, we do have a, a sort of um, an initial plan that was uh, released in the come in the in this in the run-up to this announcement, the fact that it's actually been made permanent, uh, $2.8 billion in U.S. exports could uh, receive uh, some sort of tariff, which could include uh, bourbon whiskey, orange juice, and Harley-Davidson uh, motorcycles. The United Kingdom has also come out and said it's deeply disappointed. They said uh, they wanted the European Union and the United Kingdom to receive permanent exemptions on uh, tariffs. And we also had Mexico that says it would uh, penalize it will be penalizing U.S. imports, uh, including uh, pork bellies, apples, grapes, cheese, and flat steel.